sudah kelihatan kak ya? Yes, sudah masuk bos. Oke. Okay. So good afternoon everyone. First, I want to say thank you for all hiring partner and all the bimbing team that that given time to me, the person to my best project now. So before I start first on my project, I will introduce myself. My name is Puturi Kasahriana. My friend actually call me as Putu. And now I'm working as teacher in the Bali, and I teaching about math, programming, robot, and IoT. So we will move to first about hotel booking prediction. Okay, before I continue my present, so my, uh, today I will show what is the content that I will give you in the, my presentation today. There are background and objective, and the last is result summary. So we will start our background first. So in the hotel business, we know that dependent of the number of visitor will get a maximum the profit from the hotel. So if the hotel have the maximum visitor, that will get the maximum profit too. Just making the hotel also curtain capacity. So there are limitation in accepting the visitor. If we have the many capacity, if we have many visitor, that will get the maximum profit to the hotel. Okay, because of that problem, the hotel provide a booking system so that visitor can order service and extend and get service according to the desired day. But the booking system have the other problem. They are, what can we do to minimize the losses from the booking hotel system? To answer this question, I will to give the solution to making this prediction uh, about the data hotel booking this is cancellation or not cancellation. So I continue to about the background the data and about the data I will using the hotel booking data set from the Kaggle and the data contain 232 column and 1193 row. And the next year about the feature that's content in the data set, there are 32 feature, it's content from the data set, there are hotel, it's cancellation, the time, arrival, that year, arrival date, and ECC. So this all feature I will to use to make a machine learning prediction to give a prediction about cancellation booking hotel. Okay, we will moving to about purposing data for analysis and modeling. And the first, I will check the missing value from the data and I got some missing value here. There are country again and company. And next I will fill the NA column the, for the missing value with a zero to simplify the data processing. And after that, I drop the column that have some value. It doesn't make sense, is drop it. There are column, there are column adult, children, babies that have a with zero value. So I think that's a, not make sense. The X will have zero value. After that, I drop that column and I get the final data with the 32 column with and one one zero one one nine two one zero row. So next I will talk about business question. So in the business question, there are some questions that I want to answer in this case. That is where the gas come from and how much the gas pay for a room per night? And how does the price per night vary over the year? Next, about which are the most basic man or the most guys that are high? And the last is about how long the people stay in the hotel. So for the answer to that question, I will using the expertise data analyze. And the first is about the analyzing home country guests with the special analysis. So we can see, where is the gas country from, from this spatial analytics, but in the slide, we cannot see with the interactive dashboard. So I will moving to my interactive dashboard in the collaboratory, the collaboratory and we will see, we can zoom in to the data visualization and we will know that where's the maximum number in the number of guys that is from PRT and the next from ESP 
and the other country. So we can see the interactive dashboard using this coding technique. And from this, we know we know that the number of guys that the maximum is to 20k and the minimum is zero. So there are so many country in here, and we can doing to zoom in and zoom out that data to see where's the most visitor come from. Okay, that's about the analysis home country guess with spatial analytics. And next I will answer about a fair price for a room per night and we get using this black box plot. There are so a lot of data we can get it yet. And this the figures show the average price per room. It depending on the type and the standard deviation, but not that data animals room with the same type letter minus necessary the same the hotel. So we can see in this data there are some value the highest room type. The highest room type is from the room type age. There is from the rest hotel and the most or the high price from the city hotel is the type of G room. And next about the price variation per night through the year. So we can see from the line chart in here, there are some things so very most the common visitor and the variation per night in here. So we know that the figures show a fair price for room per night and dependent on the type and the standard deviation. Okay, we can discreetly show the price in the resort hotel are much higher during is the summer time. And the price of the city hotel varies less and is most expensive during the spring and autumn. So in the August, August, we can see the most price is from the resort hotel and the cheaper in the January. So next we will answer the most basiman. Okay, from here, we can see that the most basiman in the August and the, from the resort hotel, and same like the resort hotel in the ghost on this in the city hotel have the same most busy man in the house. And the last question is about how long do people stay at the hotel? So to answer this question, I try to using this bar chart and I see in here for the city hotel is the maximum stay people using is in the three days and for the resort hotel, there are the most people stay in one day. So this is can answer this business question. After that, I will using the select important feature using the correlation. So using this correlation, I will see the correlation from the some feature in our data. So from here, we can see there are so many features we can select and we must to set the maximum or the strongest correlation in here and get the best feature we can using to modeling this data. Okay, after that, I using feature encoding to perform mean, perform mean encoding technique, then the data process say in 29 column with the other row. So before we continue, I have some tactic to handling my outlier data. And I will see that there are some outlier data in here and I handling that outlier data to make simply my data preparation and continue to make a model. So to make a model, I separate that data with two value that X and Y. X is using all of feature except for its cancellation and why is using its cancellation so dependent value independent value is i using x and y in here for my modeling concept and before that i see the data is imbalanced data so i must doing something to handle this data before so i using smooth method to handle this imbalanced data so from this picture we can see this the data contain is 
cancellation with zero or there is no cancellation it is more is higher than one or cancellation so because of that imbalance data we must do doing some smoothing method and after that i will get the yes value is 70 and 10 and the no value is 70 and 10. Next, about the feature important. So to select the feature important here, I using the linear model, that's LASO, and the feature selection using select model. So the total feature before is 28, and I'm select the best feature is 17. Okay, from that feature, I using some algorithm like right, logistic regression, like Bayes, random forest, decision tree, and key and hand to get the F1 score, the maximum F1 score that I can have is from the random forest that is 0 0.96. So using that model, I think that a higher value that we can get from the F1 score. So I select the random forest as my best model and I using to doing hyperparameter to get more accuracy. But after I using grid search CV and randomized search CV for create hyper tuning parameter for my model, this model is random forest. I get the best parameter is with max depth is five and, est and estimator is th 300. And the accuracy that the grid search CV is 0 0.7. And the for randomized search, there are max depth is five and an estimator is 500. So the accuracy is maximum 0.7. So I think there's less than the default parameter I get the F score. So I using the default default of random forest parameter and get the maximum F1 score there's 0.1696. So I choose this as my parameter for my modeling type. Okay, after I've just my best modeling technique. So I using the random forest to conversion to see the conversion matrix. Let's say there are zero when my model shows there are zero is cancellation. There are there are false. There are what the false is here. We can see the from the conversion matrix here. And the last about the result summary. So after I doing some analysis. We can have the to make the best best model can be used is random forest. With this model, we can make prediction with the at one score level raising six ninety six point eight percent. So this score can be achieved after passing the smooth method to handling imbalance data and selecting the best feature. We can using this seventeen features, and for this suggestion, I have four suggestion to doing this business. There are one focus ads on the country that visit the less or the those that visit the most. And the second makes adjustment to the room price from the resort hotel or the city hotel in order to get maximum profit. Number three is holding various promotion or interesting event on a basic month. And the number four is about provide special price if the visitor choose to stay long enough. So I think that's all suggestion that I can if I can say it for the analysis and uh, for the last, I have other project besides this hotel booking prediction. There are lot LGBT project, anime score prediction, unemployment and digital skill demand analysis, clustering the countries for help international and COVID-19 interactive dashboard with our signee. So that's all I project I created before beside of this project. And you can see my project in my LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash in slash rikasahriana. And then my email is rikasahriana at gmail.com. So I think this is all for me. And start at, the, at the end, I say thanks for all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mas Rika, for the presentation. Terima kasih. Uh,